Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Parker Brixton, the veteran n cola Piston Cup Racer number 68 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Parker Brixton is an Axelofision EA... Piston Cup racer who raced for Entol Cola, bore the number 68, and replaced the previous Entol Cola racer, Manny Flywheel, from Cars 1. He was also one of the racers that attended the Dynaco Light 350 in the, at the Motor Speedway of the South and the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway in 2016. When next gen racers began in domina er dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was one of the racers to be displaced by their sponsors in favor of a next gen racer. He, w he was dismissed by his sponsor, Ento Cola, in favor of a next gen racer named H.J. Hollis, who I don't have. During his diecast releases, he was released as a single in 2017 and and as a two and in a two pack with Speedy Comet in both in twice in 2020 and 2021. And that is it. And now Without any further ado, let's get right into the review. Here, we, here we've got his happy facial expression, his headlights, no grill, number 68 underneath, and his bright purple paint job and green interior. And on the hood, we've got the n Cola logo. On the left side, we've got the Red arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up. Black rims on the Lightyear tires and the number 68 and the n 2 Cola logo and the gas cap and the green scalps and the Lightyear on front rims and the contingency sponsor saying Piston Cub, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. And on the top we've got another number 68, no name signature, n 2 Cola logo on the trunk. On the back side, we've got the camera, the n Cola, the taillights, and the number 68 at, on the back bumper, and the exhaust pipes, and, and on the, the right side, more exhaust pipes, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the other and to Ocola Racer, Manny Flywheel. Here are some similarities. Both race in the pit both race in the Piston Cup for N2 Ocola and bear the number 68. No name signature. Both are purple and green. 68 on the headlights. No 68 on headlights, just underneath. The black grill, no black grill. I mean, those are differences. Speaking of differences, both have the black... I mean, not both. Black grill, no black grill. The N2O, 2005 N2O Cola logo, 2016 N2O Cola logo. Both are purple, green. Both have a 68 on the top, no name signature. Manny is a Crown Celesta, and Parker is a an Excello Fijon EA. Gray with white circle lining on the light black wall light ear tires, black rims on the Black wall light your racing tires, number 68, Ento Cola, 
and the gas cap and the green scalps and contingency sponsors saying piston cup, nitroid, revolting, octane gain, mood springs, vitaline, no stall, gaskets, gas sprin, easy idle, RPM, little torquey pistons, leakless, retread and clutch aid. Lesser sponsors saying piston cup, vitaline, revolting, RPM, nitrate and octane gain and clutch aid. Light year on front rims, no light year on front rims. N20 cola on the trunks. Number 68 on taillights. N20 cola on the back. Number 68 on taillights. Number 68 on the back bumper. And that is it. Now let's compare Parker to the other Excello Fijons, e Fijon EAs. We've got Brick Yardley, Brian Spark, Buck Baringley, Tommy Highbanks, Revengo Racer, aka Joshua Josh Leverson, Doug Throttleman. And Terry Cargaz, even though his die cast resembles Cal Weathers. And the other, and some of the other XL vehicles, we've got Matt Guy Carr, who is a normal Fijon. Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And Cora Copper, who is a Rapetto SI. So what do you guys think? Which Axello Fijon EA Piston Cup racer is your favorite? Which N2O Cola racer is your favorite? And which Axello vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as leaving suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and consider this support by viewing my channel for public watch hours. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!